Why do I say it's a US coup? Why do I say Guaido is self-appointed? I don't say it's a US coup. The US says it's a US coup. Why do I say this? Go back and read all of the statements that opposition leaders said in, the, in January. So what's, what's the set of dates that occur? You have a set of dates. Nicolas Maduro is meant to be inaugurated on January 10. Prior to January 10, the national... Yeah, 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 every president, but uh, we're talking about this very specific one. I'm happy to go through you know, every president in Venezuelan history, but on January 10, Nicolas Maduro, is, that's the day of his inauguration. On January 5, the new National Assembly meets. The new, not the new, but the new the National Assembly meets for the first time for the year. They elect their new uh, board of directors. I can't remember what the official name is, but the president, vice president, and other elected positions in, in the National Assembly. They do that, they elect Juan Guaido as the president of the National Assembly, but do not name him in any way as, as the interim president of Venezuela. But what they do say is that they reject Maduro as the president. So they, all, they set the, the groundwork to say that the inauguration is invalid because they, they will not recognise it. January 10 happens, Nicolas Maduro is inaugurated in the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court argues, and I'll get back to this in more detail later, but the Supreme Court argues that the National Assembly is in contempt, so therefore he can't go to the National Assembly to inaugurate himself there because it's a body in contempt, so the Constitution allows for him to do that in the Supreme Court. On January 15, the National Assembly meets again. The National Assembly, again, rejects Maduro as their president, and the most radical wing of the National Assembly demands that Juan Guaido declare himself president that day. Because he refuses to, they abstain on the vote that occurs in the National Assembly regarding what to occur in the next period. Because the talk is about a transitional government, but all of the major opposition parties, Acción Democrática, Un Nuevo Tiempo, Primera Justicia, all of them say that it would be, for one reason or another, and they give different reasons, that it would be crazy in some of the words that they use or it would be extremely bad to launch ourselves and declare ourselves interim president because we don't have the power to do that and better instead to create a transitional government or, or council where we can work together with a section of Chavismo to try to see if we can get the country out. So opposition parties before January 23, at least the three biggest ones in the National Assembly, all of them rejected the idea of Juan Guaido being declared the interim president. On January 23, Juan Guaido declares himself interim president. And you go back and watch the videos and you see the spokespeople from the other parties on the stage with him. All of them are looking at each other. What is going on? Why, why, is, why is he doing this? This is why I say, firstly, that he's self-appointed. Because even the national... And following that, opposition leaders, including, for instance, Enrique Campriles, have said it in interviews. We did not agree with this. We did not know he was going to do it well, we've got to go along with it now because it's happened. So that's why I say he was self-appointed. It wasn't a vote in the National Assembly that did that. They voted him as the president of the National Assembly, but it wasn't the opposition parties who said, let's do this. It was Juan Guaido and his party, Popular Will. Now, why do I say it's a US-led coup? Because even though the opposition parties didn't want this to happen and didn't know what was going to happen, the US did know what was going to happen. Why do we know that? Because the Spanish Foreign Ministry has said so. They said on January 22, the day before, get ready for tomorrow, because there's big announcements coming. Marco Rubio, Florida senator who's been playing a key role in this, tweeted the day before, tomorrow will be a big day for democracy in Venezuela. Remember this, all the opposition, main opposition parties were not expecting anything like this for the next day, but already a senator from Florida is tweeting about it and the US is ringing in, ringing in Spain. The next morning they ring the Spanish, the, the, from the US embassy, they ring again to Spain saying, look, we can't tell you what's gonna go, but something's gonna happen, get ready. This has all been on public record from the Spanish Foreign Minister, Borrell. So Borrell says that the US knew. The opposition say they don't know. Put two and two together, you're going to get four. And that is that this is a US-led coup where Juan Guaido self-appointed himself. That's my response to that question.